Hey guys, so for lesson four, it's just going to be a quick little tutorial here, but I'm going to talk to you guys about um, about colors being out of gamut. We talked about this in lesson one, and I actually got some feedback from someone who mentioned that I I had said that when I click on the view menu, the only thing I really use in here is, is the gamut warning sometimes, and she said, what does that even mean? So I thought that I would come through really quick and show you what the out of gamut warning even means. Um, when something is out of gamut, it means that when you send your image off to be printed, that that color will not look the same. It will not be printed that color because it does not, it's not a color that can be printed through through the printers. Um, I'm not very good at the technical stuff, but print labs print using um, what's called the CMYK um, and this color shows up fine in Photoshop because you're in a different color space when you're in Photoshop but when you actually send your image off it is going to be printed in the color space of CMYK and it there are just some colors that it just can't do um, so to make sure that you're sending your image off with colors that that will actually get printed the correct way you use view and your gamut warning. Now as you can see when I clicked that gamut warning what it did was put this gray mask over all of the areas on my image that are out of gamut. Um, that was not the original color of her wrap. This is the original image. I could not find any images that I had that were out of gamut so I had to create one but you can see that her wrap is is out of gamut and we obviously need to fix that before we send it to print. The best way to fix an out-of-gamut color is to use an adjustment layer and use the hue saturation adjustment layer. Um, when you click on that it comes up and it comes up with a layer mask and you're gonna come over here and you're gonna choose your color that that is the most closest to matching matching that that color. This happens to be magenta so we're gonna grab the magentas and we're just gonna slide our hue saturation layer. I know that mine needs to go this way. Obviously if you go this way it just creates it to be more out of gamut so we want to go up and I'm just gonna go up until I get um, a color that shows no more gray and now her little wrap is in the gamut of colors for the CMYK and there is no more gray. However, when you do this with an adjustment layer, depending on your image, you will see that it's going to change your colors everywhere. And that means could it could change your skin tone, it could change a background color that you have or a hair color, and you obviously don't want your whole image to be changed. You only want the places that are out of gamut. So what we're going to do is we're going to invert our layer mask. When you have a black layer mask, let's switch to this image really quick. When you have a when you have a white layer mask, excuse me, and we add this layer mask here. Let's just we're just gonna put a little bit of stuff on our face here. When you have this white layer mask, you use a black brush to paint off the effect, and that takes it completely away. When you invert a mask, so we're going to come over here and we're going to make sure our layer mask is, is checked. And we're going to hit control I on our keyboard. Now it took the hue saturation layer completely off of the picture. So everything's back to being out of gamut and we need to fix that. But we only want to fix it on her wrap. So what we're going to do is now we're just going to take a white brush and we're going to paint on the hue saturation layer where we want it and this will keep it from affecting any other part of the image except for the part that we wanted to fix. So we're just going to go over her little wrap here and just making sure we're only going over the parts that are out of gamut. In this case I obviously want all the colors to match so even if there were a few little parts of this wrap that did not have a gray area. I want this whole wrap to be the same exact color. So I'm just going to take my time and make sure the wrap does not have any more of that magenta purpley color to it. 
And then, as you can see, now your mask is you're painting on the effect instead of painting off the effect. Um, this is just a really, it's really useful when you have just a very small area that needs to be fixed and not, and not a huge area. That way you're not spending your whole entire time painting off the effect of the rest of the image. You can just hit control I, invert that layer mask, and only apply the effect to where you would like it to be applied. So that was just a quick little tutorial. Sorry about that. That's just a quick little tutorial, and um, hopefully that helps you understand the gamut warning a little better and shows you a cool little trick to do with your layer mask. Thanks for watching, guys.